Greetings folks, in today's video we are going to take the Xiaomi Notebook Pro and demonstrate how to flash back to a previous BIOS. Everything you see here today will also allow you to flash forward, but flashing back has been something that's been a little bit more challenging for folks, and I'm going to show you how to easily bypass that. But not only that, this whole process and tutorial alone will serve as a really good guideline on just how to flash your BIOS in general on these particular laptops, as they do require a few more steps than what you would traditionally have to do. So first thing is get yourself a USB thumb drive, make sure it's a few gigabyte or larger, and you have two USB ports on the Xiaomi Notebook Pro. Both of them are on the left hand side. It's very important for this process that the thumb drive is installed in the USB drive that is furthest away from you. After doing so, I just did restore device defaults. It's in FAT32. I went ahead and formatted that. Very simple. Takes a few seconds to do. After that, we are going to take this here and go to techtablets.com. Link in the description below for it. Now, right now we are on BIOS 502. I'm gonna install BIOS 300. BIOS 401 and 300 do essentially the same thing. The reason why I want to flash back is because it's going to allow me to unlock the TDP on this U-series chip and go from a 15-watt chip now to a 45-watt chip, and now I can take four cores, eight threads, boost it to 3.4 gigahertz. There will be no thermal or power throttling. Not only that, we can now undervolt the CPUs with those two BIOS. Very nice. BIOS 401 here in here is not complete. You can go ahead and try to install it, but you're not gonna get very far. It will not work. The three BIOS on this page currently that work are 502, 603, and 300. So go ahead and click on this one right here, and we are going to download that right now. Perfect. After that, link in the description below for WinRAR. We're gonna use this to extract that BIOS onto the USB drive. Very simple, go ahead and download this. Afterwards, just go to your downloads file and now things are going to look like this here. We'll go ahead and open this up. WinWar will automatically take over. Awesome, this is what we wanna see. When you open this up and the first thing is EFI, that's a good thing. If it does not say that, click up here until it does and we wanna take all this stuff. Don't worry about clicking anything else. Hit the extract button. And I'm going to move this over to that brown USB drive that I have labeled. I'm going to let it do its thing. It'll just take a few seconds. And now that is done. Now I'm going to open up this drive. And this is what is going to allow us to flash back. What we need to do is click on the platform. And there is a ton of stuff in here. We are looking for something very particular. And here we are. So right about the middle of this whole page here, maybe about 45% of the way through, we are looking for something called BIOS version check. Right now this says flag one. We need to erase the one, replace it with a zero, and then go ahead and just click save. And that is going to allow us to now take a new BIOS or a newer BIOS and flash it back to something older. So let's go ahead and proceed with the reboot. All right, now we're gonna reboot the system and we are gonna press F2 after clicking restart. Now just keep picking away at F2 until we get into the BIOS. Excellent, once inside, you can see that we are currently on 502. Click on the security tab and what we need to do where it says secure boot mode, we need to disable that, but you will be unable to do so until we set a supervisor password. Don't worry, I'll show you how to disable that later. So we'll go ahead and set that. I'm gonna enter the password as something simple, 1111. Press enter, 1111. Press enter, enter again to save it, perfect. Now secure boot mode, we can now change that to disabled, which is exactly what we want. And now on top of that, for the final thing in here right now is we are going to clear secure boot keys. Go ahead and click yes after doing so. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and hit F10, save and exit, press enter. 
Now we're at the login screen. I do not want you to log in here. Instead, I want you to reboot the system. It's gonna ask you right here, restart anyway. And now instead of pressing F2, I want you to press F12. This is going to get us into the boot menu. Now we're inside the boot menu. What we wanna do is select EFI, USB device, press enter. Now right here, press enter again. What we want to do, all in lowercase and in one word, type unlock me. U-N-L-O-C-K-M-E, one word, press enter. The machine at this point is going to go silent and it's going to take us right back to the login screen again. And now just like before, we want to restart this and proceed pressing F12 to go back into the boot one more time. Select the EFI USB device again, press enter, and type the word flash, all in lowercase, F-L-A-S-H, press enter. Excellent. Rock and rolling here, folks. Very simple. All right, excellent. You might not be able to see this too well, but we've got current system BIOS version 502. The new BIOS is going to be 300. Now, if we did not change that file where we had to change that flag from 1 to 0, you would not be able to do this. It would just simply state your BIOS is newer than the one you're trying to flash. It would not let you proceed, and that would be it. All right, folks, we are now back inside. And for evidence, we'll go ahead and check CPU-Z. Click on over to the motherboard tab. And as you can see, we are on BIOS 300. Now, one last thing that we need to do is go ahead and delete the whole password unless you want to leave it there. But not having a password to get into your BIOS is probably going to be a good thing unless you're worried about theft. At this point, let's go ahead and remove the password from the BIOS and we'll start with a simple restart and now pressing F2 until we are back inside. Type in the original password that we had created just a few moments ago. Mosey on over to the security tab. And let's go ahead and take secure boot mode and we'll set that back to enabled and then set password. Enter old password 1111 and just enter all the way through all this and now we are completely done. Every time we reboot the system now guys, it's going to work just like it did before, and now you've learned how to not only flash your BIOS on this particular laptop, but now you know how to flash back. Very important stuff here, guys. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Bob of All Trades. Peace out.